Hey everyone, welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. This week we are reviewing another Spinnaker watch. Did one a couple of weeks ago, but this is a new version of their Bradner watch. They're still sending them in these weird boxes that look like there might be some sports cologne in there. But I promise you the watch is well worth a look. The Bradner line has been out for a number of years. They've done something very special with the dial. And I'm interested to know what you think. So let's dive in. The watch's name, Bascom, pays homage to the multi-talented Willard Bascom, who was a renowned engineer, adventurer, scientist, photographer, cinematographer, and archaeologist. Bascom is credited with suggesting the use of neoprene for wetsuits to his fellow scientist, Hugh Bradner, the person this entire range of watches is named after. Their collaboration eventually led to the development of wetsuits, revolutionizing scuba diving, and other activities like surfing of course. This watch is really a worthy tribute to those pioneering oceanographers and scientists working together. The thing that separates this Bradner from the ones that we have reviewed before is the very unique dial. The forged carbon material used in the dial is a unique form of carbon fibre. It is composed of tiny carbon fibre composite materials that are moulded and then forged at high temperatures with a resin hardener. The result the result is a lightweight and robust material. We recently saw this on the Christopher Ward C63 Colchester. This forging process produces a distinctive speckled effect, so no two dials will be exactly the same on these watches. What makes this dial even more special is spinnaker layered luminous powder throughout the dial blanks. This gives one of the most spectacular loom shots I have seen on a spinnaker before, and they're usually pretty good. The dial is amazing and hopefully I'm capturing it well in this loom shot. The case is a compressor style case. An actual compressor watch uses a case with a spring to allow pressure to make the case more waterproof. On this particular watch we just have a standard screw back case with a rating of 180 meters. That seems like an odd number and I'm guessing if they had printed 200 meters on the back who would really know. So these watches are referred to as compressor style because commonly but not all always compressor watches would have two crowns. The watch is powered by the reliable TMI Seiko built NH35A movement as you would expect. I would like to see Spinnaker maybe experimenting with some higher end Miota movements eventually in the Bradner. The fit and finish is on par with watches that use the Solita and the ETA movements so maybe they could really improve that over time although the NH35A of course will serve you well and it's probably one of the most widely used micro brand movements so if something does go wrong, the movement itself can be easily swapped out. And not to tempt fate with my last comment, but the watch itself does come with a very generous 24 months warranty. There is a transparent case back. My version is a pre-production and I have noticed a little bit of a QC issue here on the transparent case back. Maybe a bit of oil or something got on the glass. The top crown on the case actions the three-dimensional inner turning bezel that frames the watch's dial. This is something I've always loved about the Bradner. I think this is the third one I've reviewed over the years. My only grumble though with this bezel is it's not ratcheted. It spins nicely, but as the crown doesn't screw down, it's omnidirectional and there is no ratchet. If you do use it to time anything, you could easily knock it out of alignment. Not that most divers use dive bezels anymore, but needless to say, this one would not only be useless, but also probably dangerous if you were timing oxygen but it's certainly nice to fidget with while you're looking at the watch. The watch features a new three-link bracelet design that enhances the Bascom's sleek and modern look and is also compatible with other versions of the Bradner watch. The bracelet itself is very solid feeling and has a taper from 20mm right down to 16mm. Reduces some of the chunkiness look of the watch itself. The solid end links have female end links on them so that means it falls very nicely over the wrist if you do have a smaller wrist. This is also complemented by the way that the lugs slope towards the wrist as well. The bracelet nicely supports what is in fact a fairly substantial watch coming in at a 42mm case with a 49mm lug to lug and a thicker case at around 14.6mm. The substantial wrist feel also comes from the fact that this watch weighs in at 153 grams when adjusted for my 7.2 inch wrist. The dial may be carbon but the case is solid feeling 
thing. But as with other Bradner watches, the cases are very well balanced, so this wears very comfortably on my 7.2 inch wrist. The only improvement to this bracelet would be a proper ratcheted diver's extension. There is one, but it's a single position and gives you an extra 13.2 millimeters, whether you like it or not, so not easily adjusted if your wrist swells like mine does. Thankfully, however, the lug width is 20 millimeters, so plenty of other strap choices. Also, they have done a great job on the bracelet. Nice, solid feeling with very little rattle. The only issue I had on my one was the security fold over the clasp sits a little proud of the clasp itself the crown at two o'clock that actions the inner rotated bezel is crafted from an anodized aluminium while the primary crown at four o'clock is manufactured from solid marine grade stainless steel so you've got two different metals used for the crowns both look spectacular in their respective red and blue and this is what really draws your eye to the watch this also nicely complements the dial due to us having a 60 minute counter on the outside of the dial. I'm a bit confused why it's split like a GMT watch. Not sure the significance of splitting a 60 second counter into 30 second sections at the 45 and 15 markers. If you know the reason, let me know in the comment section. I've reviewed a number of Spinnaker watches on the channel, but the Bradner still remains my favorite line from Spinnaker. I like the style, the brushed handsets, the brushing of the case, the way that the looks fold over the wrist with these new female end links on the bracelet really add to the comfort. The watch is a homage to dive watches of the era, not specifically ripping off another design, and I really respect that from Spinnaker. And also the way they use the names of their models based on actual pioneers of diving. Not only is it a mark of respect, but it also helped to keep the memories alive of those pioneers. This watch is coming in at $390 and will start shipping in August of 2023. The watch is available in this steel carbon version, black version, and a very cool looking gold one. Thanks to Spinnaker for sending me this watch in for review. Really interested to know your comments in the comment section down below.